So for today's lesson, we're gonna talk about eating bugs. So Iris, can you read the first paragraph and then have Eugene read the second? Okay. In the past decade, bugs have become a fam familiar size on dinner tables. One reason for this is they are a great source of protein. Another reason is that people are concerned about the environment. Traditional livestock farming is detriment, detrimental to the environment as it is generally unsustainable. Sustainable. Sustainable. Rising insects is much more environmentally friendly. One kilogram of insects per protein needs about 10% of the feed, water, and land used to produce the same amount of feed. Experts say farming insects is better for the environment than raising livestock. A final reason we may have to eat insects is because of the rise in the world's population. By 2050, this is expected to be 9.8 billion, up from the current 7.7 .7 billion. Okay, so here, let's take a look at become a familiar site. A um, familiar. A familiar. Good, okay. And this word is detrimental. 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 Good, okay. And then here we have unsustainable. 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 Yeah, great. Okay, so what do you think about eating bugs? Do you think it's normal or is it disgusting? Iris, what do you think? I think eating bugs is very disgusting, but I think it it's a good way to provide protein for human. Yeah, so maybe I will try it. <laughs> mm. Interesting. Okay, <laughs> try it. Uh, Chopper, what do you think? I can imagine eating bugs or insects. Yeah, I think it's disgusting. You think it's disgusting? You would never try it, even if you starve. Yeah, I, I, I think I don't try to eat bugs or in sets a uh, ago. Yeah, but uh, but uh, in a future maybe maybe uh human can see beef or chicken uh must to uh, must must eat bugs or instead uh, I will try to eat. <laughs> try it. Okay, Yu Ching, what do you what about you? I think eating bugs is disgusting too and I don't want to try it if the food is appearance like insects. If the chef can make it 
that I don't know it's insects. Maybe I could try. So can you try like bugs, insects, hamburger, and then it's like hamburger meat, but you don't know it's made from bugs? Yeah. Yes. Mm. Okay, interesting. So let's look at the next part here. Will traditional livestock farming eventually end? Why or why not? If you think it would end or not, Iris. The this industry may disappear. Yeah. Um. I think that human will use technology to create protein and nutrition for survival. Yeah, so maybe in the future, people just need to take a capsule. Yeah, it, it is can provide enough um, energy or protein to human. Okay. So let's look at the second question here is, are you worried about overpopulation? Why, why not you change? Mm. Yes, I worried about overpopulation because more, when they have more people in the world, then the, the environment will be worse than before. And also <clears throat> our, I don't think that the, um, source of the earth could provide enough enough sources to the to humans so i am worried about overpopulation okay and for chopper how will eating insects help the planet I know uh, uh, I think it I think uh Eating insects uh, uh, can light uh, CO two be reducing, redu reduced, uh, because resting livestock can make more uh, uh, can make more warming gas yeah uh, I guess uh, it can help the planet. planet. Planet, okay. Interesting. Iris, what do you think about what Chopper has just said? Yeah, um, I agree Chopper's opinion. Um, a lot of reports shows livestock farming is one of the reason to access access uh, CO2. 
So maybe mm. we can people can try eat insects. Um, is can this is is can this decrease environment pollution? Okay, interesting. And you, Chin, what about you? Do you agree with them? Yes, I agree with Chopper and Iris. And I have the same thought about that. Livestock farming create lots of carbon dioxide. Okay, yeah, so it really does. So maybe for us to eat or be vegan like once a week can be of some help and then try to increase that or only have meat maybe once per, I guess, daily meal, right? Okay, so what do you think of the idea of insects as food? So what if you were served an insect burger? And tell us how you would feel. I know you guys sort of talked about it, but try to be more specific or try to imagine it and be in more details. Um, Yuchi, let's start with you. I would try to eat insects mm. When it not when it mix with other food or snacks like cookies or French fries, but I don't want to eat the insects that have insects appearance. So if people could make the insect, for example, if people can make the insect french fries and it's not, and I don't know it's insect, and I will try it. Hey, Chopper, what about you? I hope that uh, this day will never come. <laughs> I, 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 I don't try to eat bugs or insects, but maybe I will try to uh, eat fried insects first. Uh, I think uh, I think it's easy to uh, I think it's easy to into uh, it's easy to put into my mouth by myself. Why? Mm. Because uh, the, uh, the fried insect look uh, don't look like 
insects. <laughs> it la it look like uh other food. Okay, so like fried chicken. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. so uh, I think it's easy to try it. Okay, easier to try it. Okay, and Iris, what about you? Uh, I never, I never eat insects, but I would like to share my uh, some experience about my uh, Thailand trip. Yeah, um, I remember their night markets are full of bugs vendor. Yeah, in anywhere, <laughs> and um, lay, lay, grill, 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 insects like barbecue. Yeah, and um, like bee and grass, grass chopper, grass chopper, grass chopper. It's not chopper. It's chopper. Upper, oh yeah, upper, upper, yeah, yeah, and uh, some of my classmates they love it, yeah, and they forced me to try it, but I, I didn't, no way. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like a grasshopper. Yeah. Oh my god. They, they grill, grill it. They grill uh, insects. Or fire, fryer, fried it. Okay, fried. but you can still see that it's an insect. Yeah. <laughs> so it's my experience. Okay. Yeah, I think I think when I was in South America, my friend took me to there's a fast food place kind of like mcdonald's and it's very popular there and they said that inside there's insects mixed with the meat and they didn't tell us so we're eating the hamburger and like oh it's so good and they're like oh there's actually mixed with some insects i'm like ew <laughs> gross but if you don't know, then actually, like, it doesn't, you can't really taste it. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of it either, so eating insects. Okay, so we're going to move on to the role play. and going to spend a little more time doing the role play. Um, you change your presentations next week, right? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Um, is there someone's microphone that is like very loud? I'm not sure whose microphone I hear. Okay. Or like, there's like this really annoying sound. Okay, so for the role play here, um, that here are three different types of insects that you have to persuade each other that is the best for the dinner table. So I guess you can use sort of a nutritious value or maybe it, there's less carbon dioxide or something like that along those lines that you can think about and try to persuade each other. Okay. Okay, so let's take a break and then come back to the classroom. 